Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and today we'll take a look at the steps to take if you run into any issues on your Samsung Galaxy device, be that if your phone is getting sluggish or if you have application crashes. Now, if you follow these five or six steps or tips to make your phone run smoothly again, I will 100% guarantee that your phone is back to normal. If you are running into more issues, then it's 100% a application based. You find that application, delete it, and then you again are running smoothly. Now, this video is inspired by my past video from a little over three years ago. And back then, Google was having an issue with their WebView system services where anything Google was having problems, especially their Gmail, the Google search, and several others. So I'll tackle that first because today that shouldn't be an issue. But if it still is for you, at least you can check this out. And then we'll go through the rest of the steps. So taking a look at the first step, which is that Google system web services. This one's not required to do as any of these steps. You can actually do this last if you would like to, just because this shouldn't be an issue today. But just in case, all you'd have to do is go inside of your settings, head inside of apps. On the very top, you just want to search for web view and you'll be able to find it right up over here. Now, when you tap on this, where you want to go is you can take a look at your storage and you can either clear the cache or clear the data. Also back then, what we were able to do was just go inside of the Play Store and uninstall the most recent update, or you can do it right here. So again, if you run into any problems, you can actually uninstall the past update. And then anytime you go back inside of the Play Store and you look to see if there's any updates sitting there, you'll actually see this there to give the update. So that is if there is any problems with this, with any Google specific applications. You can also disable it. So with this being disabled, you're pretty much disabling a lot of the services from Google. So let's say that we go right up over here and if I was to try to maybe search for something, uh, it's just gonna pretty much kind of break down and stop. If I was to type something out, it'll stop as well. So if you run into that, don't worry, just go right back inside of that application info of the WebView services. And then you just go back and get it enabled. You go back, you know, right inside of here and everything will work out smoothly. So I can just tap here, go. And there we are, we're right back to normal. So this is just in case if you have any issues with Google specific applications, I would first uninstall the latest update. And then if that still doesn't work, you can try to disable it just to see if that will help. And if not, go back to re-enable it and follow the rest of the steps in this video. So the first real step that I would actually take if you do run into any issues is go to the said application that is causing you the most problems, go inside of the information and right inside of here, you can go down and you can take a look at your storage. And this is where you want to just clear the cache and clear the data. Now you're not getting rid of anything other than the stuff that is just sitting in the application as the storage, which is you just getting in and out of the application. And then anytime that you just go right back inside of the application on some of them, you may have to re log back in. So I'm going to go through, hit on log in, and that's pretty much it. That's the, the worst of your worries is that you just have to re log back into the application. If it is a application where you have some settings that is kind of set up inside of there, you know, maybe if it's a game, all you have to do is just re log right back in and then change a couple of those settings. You know, maybe if you change the settings of the audio or the type of quality of video that you are playing, then that is what you would just have to rechange when you go back in. So if there's any application where you have the problem, which somebody mentioned that their cash app was having a problem, you press and hold, you tap on the little eye, you go right up over here, you go inside of storage, clear the cache, clear the data. And once it's deleted, all you'd have to do is just go right back inside. This one's going to ask me for my phone number back and it's just a way for me to re log back in. So if there's any problems that was just happening at that point, at least now it is hopefully gone and that application is fixed. Step number three, this one's very quick and easy to do. This is if your phone is maybe running just a little sluggish. All you'd have to do is go inside of your settings, scroll on down to where it says device care. And then inside of device care, you want to tap on memory. And what could be happening is that you just have so much going on with your phone currently. Look at this. I have 1.7 gigs that is just used as memory, which is basically cache. I, you know, I keep on tapping this view more, view more, view more. There's just a lot going on in the background. So really all you'd have to do here is hit clean now. So this way you're not going to have so much that is just running in the background. And also too, you can take a look at your memory resident apps, which means it's the applications that are just sitting in the background 
all the time that is just that maybe is not necessary but it's just a way that it's going to work in the background where everything will come up at any time you know if somebody sends you a message or something what you can do is you can actually put that application in a deep sleep now once you put this one in a deep sleep it will be in the deep sleep you're not going to get some notifications from it. it's not going to run in the background it's not running location or anything like that and you're not causing any problems or issues all you have to do is head right back to the application that you pretty much put in a deep sleep you open it back up and it's right back to where it was from before now it may not be a resident application at this moment now but beforehand it was maybe if there was a notification or a or a snap that came through that i never looked at just yet so it's a way that you can just kind of monitor it and if you notice applications always showing up in the resident applications inside your memory those are maybe some of those that are really taking up the most of your battery life and could be slowing your phone down step number four this one is my favorite because this one really solves almost all of the issues all you'd have to do is just power down your phone and then this is where you want to wipe cache partition. This definitely helps out any time that you do an update on your phone. So all of those monthly updates, you should probably do this a couple days after you update your phone. So this way you don't have all of that lingering data or cache just kind of floating in the little atmosphere of your phone. This is where you wanna press on the volume up and the power button at the same time. So once you press on the power and volume up, once you see the Samsung Galaxy name come up, you can actually let go. It'll put you in the screen here. Now you can just reboot your phone, which is just restarting the phone. You're not doing a factory data reset or anything. This is where you'd want to press your volume down either up or down. This is what you know allows you to go through this whole screen. And this is where you can wipe cache partition. Now this is your little enter button. So once you do wipe cache partition, you hit okay, go down and you hit on yes. Now it cleared a bunch of that little cache that was just floating in the void of your phone that could cause some issues. Now, once that is done, you just hit on reboot system now. And now you're just pretty much turning your phone right back on. So this is the one that I usually suggest after every single monthly update. If you have any problems or issues with some applications, this will kind of clear the majority of all of them. Step number five is a way that you're able to have your phone restart automatically every few days. Now, I know people who never turn off their phones, never restart the phones. I mean, it's just like your laptop or your TV. You always have to turn that thing off to give it a little bit of a pause and a rest, turn it back on so it can start working again. Now, with this one, all you'd have to do is go right inside of your settings. And once inside of settings, you go down to device care. Then inside of device care, you can scroll down and this is where you see auto optimization. Now I have mine turned on for two days. I have mine turned on for Sunday and Wednesday, and it happens at 3 a.m. Now you can go through here, you can select any days that you want it to happen. Also, you can select the time of when you want it to happen always suggesting to do it when you are at least sleeping because you don't want your phone to restart when you're using the device or if somebody is gonna call you or you get important emails. So find a time when you are sleeping and that is the best time to have your auto restart happen. Now again, this is perfect just to give your phone a refresh. Just like you, you go to bed at night so that when you wake up, you're energized, you're ready to go. Same thing with your device. It has to be restarted at least once or twice a week. And then lastly, this kind of falls in line with the whole sluggish phone or just making your phone go a little bit quicker. All you'd have to do is unlock developer options. You can unlock developer options by going into your about phone tapping on software and tapping on build number seven times. Once you tapped on build number seven times, you go back to this screen here, which is just your settings. You go inside of your developer options. Then as you scroll on down, this is where you'll find window animation scale and a few additional animations. And this really does make your phone go just a little bit quicker. The animation of you going from screen to screen or application to application, opening an app, closing an app, going from another window, there really does not need to have that much animation. Everything originally is at the 1x. So as example, let's say that we do the window animation scale. So this is just changing the windows that we see and you can see how slow it is. Now, if we put it right back to one, when we open this up, that is at 1x. So why not go twice as fast when the windows pop up? So this is what I have to do the moment I get a Samsung phone. I have to actually do this because I know exactly how fast my phone should be. And if the windows are taking too long or the transitions or the animation duration is lasting too long, 
I can definitely feel it on my phone immediately. So that's one of the very first things I do when I unbox my device. So that is everything that you need to do, all of the steps to take if you run into any problems. You know, I showed off what you can do if your phone is just a little sluggish, how you can make it run just a little bit quicker or at least feel quicker. Also, all of the maintenance things that you need to do, such as restarting your phone, getting rid of the cache of some applications, getting rid of the cache for in between updates. And if you have any specific application crashes, that is how you're able to do it. If you still run into any issues, especially when it comes down to an application crashing, or even if your phone is a little slow, you might wanna put your phone into safe mode. So this way it's running all of these stock applications. And if your phone is running smoothly inside of safe mode, then that means that you have a rogue application that is causing the issue. All you have to do is delete that app and you're right back to a fresh device. So hopefully this video has helped you guys out. If it did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. Or if you like this video, more than likely, you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh, 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 oh,